This is my 2014 Victory Cross Country Tour. Today, I want to install a brake light flasher or modulator on the trunk. There's many ways of doing this. I decided to do it on the trunk because it's higher than the fender light, and I think that is what's going to get me noticed the best. For this, I'm going to be using the Magic Strobes Universal Module from Custom Dynamics. The pouch contains some instructions, the module itself, some posi lock taps, and some tie wraps. The module itself is pretty basic, that's one of the reasons I chose this. Three wires, basically you cut your brake line, tap in and out of it, and ground the other wire. It also has a dial with ten selections, giving you different flash patterns. Um, the first four are a slower flash pattern uh, used for incandescent lights as well as LEDs. And the final six patterns are higher speed, uh, specifically for LEDs, the lights that can handle the speed. The wiring for the trunk LED lights happens to go right behind the backrest on the trunk. So I'm going to remove this backrest and that's where I'm going to place the module. Inside the trunk you will find three bolts that we have to take out. These two bottom ones here and the center one down below. These three will remove the back. I want to place the modulator behind this speaker cover, so I'm going to use a 4 millimeter hex socket and I'm going to remove this. The speaker has four Torx tip number 20 screws on them. I'm going to take them off. Now I'm going to pull off the duct tape that's holding the stock wiring in place so I have some room to work with. This is the wiring here that's going up and into the trunk lid. So this is the wiring we're going to have to work with. Now what is sure to be the most difficult part of this project is cutting through the wire sheath without actually touching the wiring on the inside. So I'm going to use a dental pick that I picked up at a local hardware store. I can start picking away at the sheath until I start uh, revealing an opening and then I can probably move on to a single sided razor blade where I can start trimming away and eventually we'll start revealing the wiring that we can tap into. I'm taking the pick and I'm going with the wiring. I'm not cutting against it. I'm poking through the sheath and I am just taking a sixteenth of an inch at a time and I'm ripping it just to make sure that I don't touch any wiring. And you can see it's starting to open now and I can even take my single sided razor blade and very gently continue cutting through the sheath. All right, I've cut out about three inches worth, revealing my three wires. Didn't take that long actually. The white wire with the pink trim, that is our brake light. This is the wire we're going to cut in half and we're going to splice in our module. The black wire of course is ground and the green wire with the pink stripe that is your tail light or running light. I put some heat shrink around the cables uh, just to protect them plus I like it all covered in black. I uh, made a groove in the edge of the plastic uh, casing here uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue around the edges and I'm going to place this inside with the selector switch going through one of the holes so I can gain access to it from inside the trunk. So it's going to be 
mounted like something like this. The wiring will go behind here. There's a little piece of foam in there. I'll have to get through the foam and they will come out here and I can tap them into the cable. The speaker will just fit inside and it will also hold this module in place. I'm going to use the back end of my scribe in order to push through the foam in order to make a hole for the wiring to go through. So I just put some hot glue on the edge of it and I placed it in a way that I can verify that the switch is in the center of an access hole. This will give me access with a small screwdriver to adjust or change the flash pattern if I want. If you remember, the white wire with the pink stripe is my brake line. I'm going to cut right in the middle of that wire. I'm going to strip it back and use my posi lock connectors provided and tap them into the wires into the module as per specifications. Okay, the three wires on the module, there's a black wire. It gets tapped, of course, into the ground. Then there's the red wire. That's the input side. So that is attached to the red-white uh, wire from my harness. And then the white wire from the module, that goes to the light side of the wiring harness, the one going to the light. So uh, now that that's all hooked up, let's uh, give it a quick test. Now the camera may not be able to capture this, I don't think it's 30 frames per second, but we're going to turn on my main power and we're going to activate the brakes and it is flashing uh, for five seconds and then steady. I let go of it and it will flash again for another five seconds and then steady. There's ten patterns you can choose from, this is the one I chose. I don't want it to be constant flashing uh, in order to drive people nuts if you're stuck in traffic for a while, at night time especially, so I figure this will easily do it. If I remove the trunk, then of course the flasher goes with it and the bike becomes stock again. So now I'm going to put it all back together and I'm sure it'll be, I'll be happy with it. Okay, I put fresh duct tape on the wires. I put the speaker back in as luck would have it. It just happened to be deep enough to hold the module into place. I mean, I put the uh, hot glue there just to keep it there. I put the covering back on. I put the backrest back together and the um, thing works like a charm. Let's show you what, what it looks like inside the trunk. Inside the trunk, in one of the existing access holes, you can see it right here. That's the little yellow uh, knob that controls it. I can take a little screwdriver and I can put it on and turn this to whatever selection I want. So that's it. Another project done and uh, works like a charm. I can't wait to try it out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.